Ladies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the quickest I think I have ever jumped to do a video. I was actually in the process of sitting down to film a video on Tana Mojo. Then I saw that Jeffree Star uploaded a video and normally if that happens I'm like, eh, okay. But this one, this one's different. Because look, this is the title and thumbnail. He's saying goodbye. Dot dot dot. Another one for the saga? We've had... Doing what's right. We've had many others that I can't recall off the top of my head because there's so many. And now we have saying goodbye, dot dot dot, with the ever so amazing thumbnail choice. Hey, at least we're not getting a pose this time, Jeffrey. You know what? Credit where credit is due. We criticized Jeffrey for doing these videos and posing, and you know what? He very clearly is not this time. <laughs> very clear. So, credit where credit is due. So, whenever I saw this video, I don't know why, but I was like, maybe there's a chance he's leaving YouTube. Maybe. Saying goodbye, saying goodbye to his YouTube channel. Maybe. So I clicked on the video. I was going to click on it regardless because the title and thumbnail, let me see what's going on here. And I can watch it and recap it for the besties. So they, if they don't want to watch it, then I'll recap it. But if they do want to watch it, okay. And so I click on this video and it's all this dramatic like setting up the camera and you're like Ooh Shane Dawson welcome back to my conspiracy theory and he like sits down and I'm like There is a possibility that this man is going- uh, Get rid of this ring There is a possibility that this man is going to announce that he's leaving YouTube I mean the signs are there, his views are down, he's not engaging with his audience like he ever used to He's not really doing makeup reviews anymore, he's just posting YouTube videos whenever he's a launch. And I'm not saying that as criticism, I'm saying that as literally looking at his channel. So, I honestly thought that there was a possibility of that happening. No. That's not what's happened. He's not leaving YouTube. It, it, there's, like, all this saying goodbye. It's nothing to do with what he probably wants you to click on the video as. Click- Hey, you know what? Clickbait king. Gotta give him credit, he did it very well. Saying goodbye dot dot dot, not a posing thumbnail. I mean, again, credit where credit's due, Jeffrey. This is really good because it pulled me and I was like, maybe he will leave YouTube and maybe you would think that as well. So honestly, again, credit where credit's due, Jeffrey. You got me, you got me. So I basically written down on my computer here because I was watching in real time on my phone. The things that he said in this video, um, we are just going to go through the list. There is maybe one, two, three, four, maybe like mm, 15 points or something. I'm just going to read them out so it'll recap the video if you don't have time to watch it or don't want to watch it. So, again, the very dramatic start of the video, like sitting down and <sighs> all this. And then he says that he has a lot to say, you know, goodbye for. He has to say goodbye to a lot of things. And again, at this time, I am really thinking that it's the YouTube channel. Then he goes on to say that the past, he says this literally in every single video that we talk about with Jeffrey. He goes, the past six months have been rough. You've seen it. I've seen it. We've all been there. 2020 has been rough. So, the, he did that exact same thing here. He said that the past six months and the past year have been so much on him. Now, he said this on Rylan's podcast, he said this on his YouTube channel, he said this in interviews, he says this about 2020, um, all, all, all. Um, and he's not referring to anything other than his cancellation, which he said those times, but at least this time he's like, you know, the world's going through so much. So at least he's like opening up his picture a little bit more. So I've written down here in my notes, dramatic ass video, breathing in and out. <laughs> so I thought that was important enough to relate to you. He was literally going like this. There's a lot to talk about, a lot to say, a lot to say goodbye about. <laughs> uh, again, so I thought it was important enough to write that down. He says that there's been a lot of darkness and a lot of really good things. So, I mean, congrats for the good stuff and I'm sorry for the bad stuff. He said that 2020 made us all change our perspective on life, which is true. Good point, Jeffrey. Very relatable point. Uh, do you think Jeffrey's like working on a script for this video? Like, relatability, 2020 pandemic, we're all at home. He's like writing it down. Um, because we know that him living in a huge ass mansion during a pandemic is not the same as me and you living during a pandemic. Let's get that out of the way. So I've also, my notes for this are, he blabs a lot. Like he was just talking and talking. It's an 11 minute video um, and he talks and he talks and he talks. So I said he blabs a lot. Then he goes on to tell us one of the two 
things he's saying goodbye for. Bessie, I'm gonna let you guess. Wrong. It's his editor's leaving. <laughs> yep. His editor's going on to get a new job. That's the video. Hey, I'm not opposed to relying on clickbait. <laughs> but in this case, he got me good. That's it. He says how his editor is leaving. We'll go on, because there's more. <laughs> he says that there's no drama, no tea, no gossip. I'm not this Disney villain. It's just not true. So he does that full spiel that he does in every single one of these videos, even though we know that there probably is. He says that over the last five years, they've had so many memories and on-camera fun. And you know what? Congrats for that. I mean, I don't know how to respond to that. Congrats. Then he says that he met Chris and then they bought equipment together and started filming YouTube videos. He says that they filmed so much together. Um, and also, a note that I've written down here is literally four words. Dramatic ass sad music. The entire video while he's talking, like the... <laughs> like, there's instrumental, like copyright free, sad music. Which is interesting because to get that music he would have to type in sad music or sad copyright music because we know he doesn't have an editor anymore so it's himself. Which is funny because in Shane Dawson's video about calling Jake Paul a sociopath, he literally said that that's one of the main things sociopaths would do. They would search in sad music because they can't relate to emotions. So maybe that does apply to Jeffrey, maybe not. Um, then he goes on to say that Chris is editor. Editor? It's the Jeffrey Voodoo. He's trying to stop me talking. <laughs> He's coming through right now and trying to stop me talking so the video doesn't commence. He's <laughs> he said that Chris, his editor, has had a lot of life changes. I mean, I would guess so. We're in a fucking pandemic. Then he says um, that he's sitting here today alone. And then I wrote, as another note, so dramatic. <laughs> so yeah, he sits down and he's like, and I'm all here alone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then he says that he can't trust people and invite people into his house, so he has to slow down the production of videos. Oh, see, I thought you were slowing down the production of videos because you're Drew's- er- Oh my god, he's honestly trying to stop me! It's the Jeffrey Voodoo! Someone get me some sage right now, holy fuck! Jeffrey, please! Please leave me alone! Oh my god! He said- <laughs> He said that he can't trust people and, um... You know, there's no drama that's happening here at all. Um, <laughs> so, again, Jeffrey, I thought the slowed down production of your videos had nothing to do with someone leaving, but instead that you just weren't pulling in the views that you normally were, which also could be a possibility. Um, then he talks about how he's missing so many big makeup launches, uh, which is true. And, I like, anytime Jeffrey tweets about a makeup release now, the entire replies are filled with people, like, calling him out, saying, we don't want this, and bringing up his past. So, I mean, maybe that's also a reason. Maybe we're not getting the full truth. Or maybe it is that he just, I mean, there's editors everywhere. Like, you don't need an editor to know everything about you. You don't need an editor to, like, you know what I mean? Like, he was like, he just can't trust people. Oh! Oh! He can't trust people? Does that mean the raw footage of Jeffrey Star exposes something he does not want to see? Sure seems like it from what he's saying. He says that people come and go in his life, and then he goes on to say something that we made a video about a long time ago. He said that his personal assistant, Maddie Madison, left. Now, we made a video on it, there were articles about it, because, like, on her, like, resume, she, like, removed Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and we were speculating, so it was obviously true. Um, he says that she left, um, and he says that people always think there's drama, but there's not, it's just not true. Um, then he says about, he references how he loses friends all the time on the internet, therefore people always assume that if genuine people leave his life that there is drama. Well, Jeffrey, whose fault is that? Don't put that on us. Don't put that on us. He said how he, he said how she lived and breathed Jeffrey Star, which sounds like a nightmare. So she needed to move on. Okay. Interesting. Can you imagine the amount of information Madison, his personal assistant, has? Um, then he like randomly brings up the Shane Dawson series for no reason. He's like, and she was a star during that series. Um, sorry, he said the Shane Dawson series. He didn't just say the series. So, I'm, I mean, in all these videos, hey, bring up Shane, then we'll talk about you still supporting him, and you'll get a couple of clicks, a couple of drama channels talking about you. Perfect. Then he talks again, in extent, how crazy his 2020 was. 
Jeffrey, babe, everyone's 2020 was crazy. Whenever you were in drama in like 2017, you know, in 2018, you could come forward and say that your year was crazy, but like we're all having a crazy year and I hate to break it to you, people are having a lot crazier than, year than you. However, you talking about your year, in my opinion, is still valid. I appreciate it. Um, I do just want to make it known that anytime you're talking about how crazy your 2020 was, it seems like you keep referencing being cancelled. And again, people have had worse years in the current year. Um, then he says how he mostly lives in Wyoming now. And in my opinion, does that mean he's spending more time with Kanye? <gasps> Allegedly. Not true. That story wasn't true. Still funny for a little laugh. He says how people think he only wants to do videos whenever launches, you know, that he needs to do for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But it's just not true. Bummer. See, I thought you only did videos whenever you had something to launch, which is something you've criticized Jeff or Jack, not Jeffrey Star, that is you, Jacqueline Hill for. Oh, see, I, I thought that that was what you do because if I look back on your past four months uploads, it's seemingly every couple videos is a release now, whereas it used to be makeup, 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 makeup. Now it's release, 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 which is interesting as well because Jeffrey Star Cosmetics never really did multiple releases or as many as he does now. Um, word on the street, I don't know how reliable, I'm not going to say it's reliable, however, word of mouth. People are saying that, you know, to make up for lack of sales, if he sells a lot of things, you know, the same amount of people will buy it, a lot of things sold. Genius marketing, like, you know, you're still selling the same amount, you're just doing more products. I mean, makes sense. Then he finishes by saying how he misses doing meet and greets and how work now is hard for him because, you know, he, he can't do the things that he once loved. Jeffrey, again, let me, okay, it's valid, I appreciate it, um, but again, you're saying this to us like the rest of us aren't experiencing similar things. However, you're still valid for saying that. And then he finishes, like he does, with every single apology video or clickbait video that he knows the general public will also be watching. You know, like he did in all those apology videos over summer. All those, I mean one. Um, he says how so much is in store for 2021 and just promoting his company. And that's the video. That's the video. That's the saying goodbye. That's it. Okay. Um, nope, nothing more than that, that's it. Okay. Thanks for letting us know, Jeffrey. We appreciate it. I feel like I'm a better person now that I've watched that video. Mm-hmm. So insightful. Bye.